Okay, I got another question from someone else. So, the question was, how do you set yourself up uh, as a professional musician? How do you, for example, go abroad and start uh, your own business as a professional musician? Of course, I am absolutely the right person to ask that um, to because I've done exactly that a couple of times, actually. Uh, I am from Portugal, originally. I left my country in 2012, and I've been traveling quite a lot uh, since then. I lived in Dubai for a while. Crazy, crazy city. Um, I do not recommend. Um, and now I live in England, in Leeds, in England. Uh, and... I moved to Leeds in 2014. Uh, it's now 2016 and I have uh, one of the, if not the most successful drum academy um, in uh, West Yorkshire. And the reason I say that is because I know that many, many international artists, drummers that is, they reach out to me to you know, when they come to, to the UK doing clinic tours or master classes or whatever, they send me an email saying, we want to go to the Liz Drum Academy because we, we heard of that place and we've had many artists here already, as you know. However, the way to do that is um, it's not a, a, an easy process. It requires a lot of preparation. It requires a business plan. And yes, you can do it too. This is not something that I was born with. This is something that I've developed over the years. This ability to analyze what I see, my surroundings. I evaluate my options and I make decisions. Uh, that's very important. Then I follow through them. So basically, um, what you need is a business plan. You need to know exactly what you're going to be doing on a daily basis and you need to have goals and you need to have a very strict straightforward um, plan with objectives and, and goals so I would definitely use social media social media uh, is an, extre an extremely extremely important tool to develop your personal brand so in other words you're gonna need to develop your Facebook image so my advice is stop Stop posting pictures of you and your friends getting drunk. Stop posting pictures of you and your friends um, butt naked, enjoying yourselves, uh, I don't know, in Mallorca, whatever. Don't do that. That's not a good selling point. I don't really care when I go around and I look for potential new drum teachers for the Leeds Drum Academy. The first thing I do is I analyze their social media. If I see that they are serious about it and they use it as a brand uh, or as a, as a way of promoting their brand, um, then I, I like this guy. He takes the job seriously. Now, that doesn't mean that the people who post pictures of their personal lives are bad drummers or they're not professional when the time comes, but they are just not aware of where the future is going. So they are still a bit distracted with you know, not making the distinction between the, the public eye and their private lives. Because the way I expose myself is 100% drums, 100% education. I very, very rarely post anything about something uh, that is not education related. Now, uh, Twitter. That's important. It's interesting. It creates a different kind of engagement. Um, Instagram, that's super cool. Instagram is super cool because, you know, you can just share your life through image, which is an interesting angle when, because we are musicians, right? It's kind of, it's an, it's different, but definitely do it. Um, I'm now starting to use Periscope. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure of what I think. It's, it's been interesting because it's linked to Twitter. So people seem to enjoy that, the live aspect of, of um, Periscope. Uh, Facebook Live is also interesting. It might be useful to use uh, those platforms to share like behind the scenes or uh, pre-gig uh, footage, uh, you know, or post-gig, whatever. You know, uh, things that are happening in the moment, raw and unedited, unlike these videos. 
Uh, so the other thing that I would definitely, definitely spend some time on would be writing a business plan. I mentioned that in the beginning, but let's get into it. A business plan is nothing but a plan for, say, two years. So say you are going abroad. You want to go to, uh, you want to come to Leeds, England, or you want to go to Los Angeles. You want to go to New York, whatever. You got to know what you're going to do there to survive financially. You gotta, you have to know how you're gonna uh, portray yourself so you get into the industry straight away. You gotta know. And the best way to know is to plan it, write it down, research, uh, check out music schools if you are into teaching, check out uh, bands who are looking for drummers, straight away apply. Once you get there, start auditioning. Just get into it. If you think that it might be hard to survive only on music in the beginning, apply for a job before you get there. Go there once you have uh, interviews, you know what I'm saying? Plan, prepare, make sure you don't just dive in. I'm all for that, but I, I'm also a very um, thoughtful guy, so I tend to plan everything ahead and then I'm very flexible with the way I approach the business plan. So, you know, I'm not like on the 21st of June, I'm going to post a vlog about uh, business ideas or whatever. I never, or on the 22nd, I'm shooting these on the 21st, but I'm posting these on the 22nd. Um, I, I, I didn't know I was going to do that six months ago. I'm flexible. However, I knew that I wanted to share ideas with you guys. You see what I'm saying? That's it. Just be um, strict with your goals, but be flexible with how you get them. So, those are my advices for you guys when it comes to business. I want to start talking about this a lot more. Uh, you know, three and a half years ago, I was in a very small town in Portugal teaching, um, you know, I don't know, 15, 18 students. Now I'm in a major city in England three and a half years later with one of the, the biggest drum school in West Yorkshire. So, that has to mean something, I hope. Um, and ask questions. I love answering questions. I'm running out of ideas. Come on, ask me questions. Uh, the email is leadsdrumacademy at gmail.com or you can reach out to me um, on Facebook or Twitter, whatever you guys want. Ask questions. See you guys later. Bye-bye.